It's a whole experience where we try to link dance, music, literature together in a seamless whole and we try to interest young people or make audiences cross interests from one art form to another. One thing that has always been on my mind is actually this concept uh, that was given to us about sign language and dance. Each dancer sort of represent one finger as they come together to make um, different letters. The texts that we selected uh, were from two main uh, important writers in Singapore, uh, Pooja Nansi's poetry, as well as uh, some texts from the play by Ko Pa Kun, Descendants of the Yunnan Admiral. I think what is most interesting is their examination of relationships and how there's commonality between both worlds. Dance, the three segments can be performed as a whole and integrated into a dance uh, meant for an indoor performance. In this instance, of course, for the, for the first staging here, we're doing it outdoor, it's a seven hour happening event. In itself, the choreography, I think it's strong enough to have an international audience and it's something I'm confident enough to promote abroad. As an event, even in itself, it can be staged as a happening outside in a festival or, or uh, event. Dance can be something that is enjoyed throughout because it expresses something more than just the syntax of language. I think the end goal is that if people through this encounter get to know the text and the poets and light literature more, I think that's the important thing.